Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've not already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be doing a video all about the newest fragrances in my collection. And I haven't done one of these videos for a while, so I thought it was appropriate to start the new year with something like this and I'm super excited about the fragrances that I'm going to be discussing in today's video. I have a really good mix of pretty much mostly niche but also a fragrance oil brand which I am super excited to share with you because I think the brand is super cool. So anyway, if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. So the first fragrance that I want to talk to you about is by Diptyque and this one is called Kyoto and I have been on the hunt for this fragrance for quite some time. Unfortunately, it was limited edition and it is no longer on sale. However, I hunted this down and actually found it on a Facebook group for sale. So if you like the sound of the description that I'm about to go into, then I think it's well worth hunting down on any kind of reseller websites. And I managed to pick this up pretty much full. So it was about 98 mil out of the 100 mil bottle. And I got it with the full packaging, which was brilliant. Now, this was a blind purchase for me, which I do try not to do. However, I have been wanting this fragrance for so long. And I just had to take the plunge because it has such an interesting note of beetroot in the composition, which really did intrigue me. Now this fragrance, in my opinion, is really hard to describe because it's like nothing else that I own in my collection. And beetroot as a note is quite complex. The way it pulls to me is slightly bitter, a little bit earthy, but it has a sweetness to it. And the way I would describe this is like an enchanted forest. It smells a little bit cold and a little bit damp, but it has a mysterious sweetness to the fragrance. It does have notes in there of incense, rose, and vetiver too. But what I really get from Kyoto is a very spicy, but earthy, bitter, and slightly sweet rose. The incense doesn't really pull through that much for me. I get a teeny, teeny little nuance of it within the composition, and the vetiver is definitely there. But what I mostly love it for is that kind of spicy earthiness. It's a very unique fragrance and I feel like it probably could be Marmite for some people. This one is so unique within my collection. It is so, so good, honestly. If you've ever smelled a freshly pulled beetroot and cut it in half, it's exactly what I'm getting from it. It is very vegetal, but in a sweet way. And I think you're really gonna have to like your kind of bitter, slightly earthy, slightly green fragrances to enjoy Kyoto. But I had to mention it because I have been on the hunt for this for so long and I'm so glad to finally have it in my collection. It's such a unique offering and I know it's gonna get plenty of love from me. So yeah, the first fragrance that I wanted to talk about that was a new addition to my collection is Diptyque's Kyoto. And I didn't even say, but can we take a moment for this gorgeous bottle? Because wow, I think it is beautiful. The next fragrance I wanna discuss is by Soma, and this one is called Halcyon. And this one has absolutely stolen my heart this January. It's a beautiful kind of boozy, spicy, slightly gourmand, but not kind of an edible gourmand fragrance and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if this focuses because the lighting is a bit funny in my studio today. But yeah, Halcyon reminds me a little bit of my beloved Angel Share. However, if the sweetness is something that really bothers you about Angel Share, I think you would really love Halcyon because that sweetness is dialed down quite a lot in this composition and you are left more with the boozy facets and the beautiful spices such as cinnamon. I'm gonna read you the notes of this fragrance specifically and then I will tell you the feeling that it gives me. So top notes are toffee, cinnamon and rum. Middle notes, honey, orchid, tonka bean and tobacco. Base notes are vanilla, benzoin, labdanum and musk. Now, the feeling I get from this is I'm in some kind of underground bar or basement bar. 
There is a jazz singer in this bar. It's a pretty classy joint, but it feels casual in vibe. And there's a beautiful sweet smell in the air. And my feeling is it's coming from the jazz singer and it's kind of like a beautiful vanillic or vanilla orchid scent. There is smoke in the air, but it's from a beautiful cigar. And I am drinking an old fashioned sprinkled with cinnamon. And that is the vibe I am really getting from Halcyon. It's a sweet vanillic honeyed fragrance, but it's not overbearing in any way. It's balanced out with that beautiful, almost wet tobacco note, giving off that kind of cigar vibe. And then you've got the beautiful boozy nuance from the rum. I think it's absolutely delicious. If you like your boozy fragrances and you do like fragrances like Angel Share, then you're gonna love Halcyon. But like I said, the sweetness is dialed down a little bit more here. You're getting more of a boozy punch and the cinnamon definitely cuts through. The quality of this fragrance for the price point is a big tick and it is a creator owned brand, which I really appreciate because you can feel the passion and the love and attention that's gone into making this creation. So if you've never tried any Soma fragrances, I would highly recommend getting your nose on them. And just a disclaimer, this bottle was gifted to me by the brand. However, with no obligation to speak about it. And this is my true and honest opinion, as always, like all of my reviews, but I would highly recommend trying out the brand. I need to get my nose on the other fragrances within the lineup. But Halcyon is a type of fragrance that I really, really love. And if you have taste similar to me, then I highly recommend you trying it out. So yeah, highly recommend this one. Next up, we have a fragrance that was recommended to me by so many of you in the comments, and it is by Cana Barcelona, and this one is Tardes. And you were all right, I absolutely love this fragrance. So I am so happy to have it in my collection now. And I really enjoy the simplicity of the bottle, but this is the kind of fragrance for me that would be a complete easy reach. And I have found myself in January just reaching for this when I don't know what else to wear. It's a very clean and fresh, almost a little bit soapy fragrance but it has a sweetness that comes from what I think is the plum and the almond in the fragrance. And it's not a fragrance that you would typically assume is that clean kind of smelling vibe, but to me, this is exactly how it pulls on my skin. And I think it's an absolutely beautiful, easy reach, kind of simple fragrance. I'm not saying it's simple in terms of the composition, but it's the type of fragrance that I feel like isn't gonna offend anyone when you wear it. The notes include almond, rosewood, rose, geranium, plum in the middle, cedar and celery, and base notes of heliotrope, tonka and musk. So you can see where that kind of clean and musky vibe comes from, it's definitely in the base. But if your vibe is that clean aesthetic, you like a more simple fragrance that's not gonna offend anyone, then I would absolutely recommend sampling this one. I don't know if I can pull out many of the other notes, like I don't really personally get the rose or the geranium. I definitely get the heliotrope and the musk. I get a little bit of the tonka bean, a slight woody nuance and a little bit of almond, but it's more like an almond milk. It's definitely a bit more of a creamy clean fragrance. But instead of talking about the notes specifically, the vibe is a white t-shirt or a relaxed outfit. I just wanna feel clean and fresh and pulled together. This is the one that I would pull for. So yeah, you were all on the money when you told me that I needed to sample this one. I do absolutely love it. And I know I'm gonna be reaching for it specifically a lot in the spring and summer. Okay, the next fragrance took me by surprise a little bit because the first time I ever tested it, I didn't like it. And it is by Anisio and this one is Absolute Aphrodisiac. And I must have had a bad sample of this when I tested it because it was a decant from at the time I bought it off Depop. And my feeling is it was either a dodgy sample or it wasn't the actual fragrance because this smells absolutely nothing like the sample. And it was only when I went to Selfridges in Manchester and re-sampled this in person, I was like, wow, I love this fragrance. This is not how I remember it. It's a very beautiful, almost carnal, sexy vanilla. Very, very sweet. So you have to enjoy your sweet vanillas. It's very sticky. It's almost a caramelized or cooked down vanilla syrup. But it has a slight edge to it, which comes from the castorium. 
It's a little bit stanky, but only a little bit stanky. And that's why I feel like it's a very sexy vanilla. It's the kind of fragrance you would wear on a date night, in my opinion. This person smells good. They smell sweet, but they smell a little bit stanky. And I've seen other people describe it as a very sexual fragrance. And I completely get what they mean by that. Because if you imagine someone's a little bit sweaty, but they do still smell good, or it smells like someone's shirt or leftover t-shirt from the night before. It's a kind of vibe I get from this. I don't know if I've been influenced by hearing other people's reviews on it, but that is the vibe I am truly getting from it as well. It does have amber, it has leather, it has musk in there and some white flowers, but I really do just get from it a sweet, dense and sticky vanilla with a little bit of musk and a little bit of stank. And that's how I can describe it. I'm gonna wear it and play with it a little bit more, but from a first initial impression, that is what I'm getting. And to be quite honest, I'm here for it and I'm really loving it. So I'm glad I finally picked it up. I managed to get it 20% off, which made me very happy. And yeah, I will be reaching for this a lot more in the future and I'll give you some more updates on my thoughts. The next fragrance is by Juice and this one is Spicy Delice. And this is a very spicy fragrance as the name suggests. So if that is your type of thing, then keep on listening. And I really enjoy the metallic bottle. So the free new fragrances from Juice come in this metallic finish. My personal favorite from the free was Spicy Delice. And the reason why it was my favorite is because it's got a heavy dose of cardamom in there, but it's also a very spicy fragrance, which is something I personally enjoy in my fragrances. And I just sprayed it in the air and it's kind of wafting all around me. It almost smells a little bit like a sexy man to me. And I do think this is completely unisex, but to me, this is a very appealing and sexy fragrance. Like I'm really drawn in to this type of smells and I just think, yeah, it's giving me a sexy vibe. It's probably not the vibe it's intended to be, but I just really enjoy those kind of sexy fragrances, whether it's worn by a man or woman or anyone in between. I'm gonna be drawn to you if you're wearing something like this. So what are the notes in Spicy Delice? So this one has top notes of cardamom, ginger, and pink pepper, middle notes of cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and divana, and base notes of vanilla and amberwood. So you can tell by the notes alone, this is gonna be a spicy fragrance. And it's really hard to compare this to anything because there's nothing in my personal collection that is super similar. It is a teeny bit similar to Gris Chanel Extrait. However, without the woodiness and the fig, of course, I'm pretty much picking up all of those spices mentioned in there. I'm getting the cardamom, I'm getting the cloves, I'm getting the pink pepper, I'm getting the nutmeg, I'm getting the cinnamon, and then I'm getting that kind of zesty, ginger, which it really needs to cut through all of those dry spices. I think it's such a gorgeous fragrance. I feel like it is most appropriate for autumn, winter. I mean, wear your fragrances whenever you want, or I would wear this in the evening. I probably wouldn't wear it on a warm spring summer day, personally, because it's very dry and it's very spicy. But I feel like this would be a great first date fragrance because you are gonna get noticed wearing it. And it does have a slight kind of vanillic undertone in the base, but what you're mostly gonna get is that very sexy, spicy vibe. But there's something really cozy and grounding to it. It almost gives me wearing a cozy sweater or cozy loungewear at home. I'm snuggled up and I'm drinking a cup of hot chocolate. The hot chocolate has nothing to do with the fragrance. I'm just giving you the vibes. And yeah, I think it's just a really beautiful composition and one I will be reaching for a lot in the future. I do have a juice discount code, which I will pop in the description box below. But yeah, they do sample. So I'd highly recommend sampling out their three new fragrances because I feel like there's something for everyone within that lineup. But this is the one that I was most drawn to. The next fragrance or fragrances that I wanna discuss with you are by a brand called Riddle. And these are actually fragrance oils and I am totally obsessed with these at the moment. So let me open up the box and show you inside. So this is just a little discovery box and it has all of the different fragrances in there. Which means you can test everything and find the scent you really love. And there are three that are standouts for my personal taste in here. But my ultimate favorite is the original scent because it's one of those fragrances 
that is your skin but better and it melds with your own body chemistry and it leaves everyone who wears this smelling slightly different. And it gives you a unique touch because it's taking your body chemistry and it's giving your skin but better. So if you like those types of scents, something like Le Labo Another 13, then you're probably going to love the original scent too. So let me give you some more information about this brand because there are two in here that are pheromone oils and then the other one are straight up fragrance oils. So there are two fragrances within this discovery kit, the original and Sphinx, which are considered pheromone oils because of how they interact with your own skin chemistry. They work with your own body chemistry, hormones, diet, health, genetics, pheromones, etc., to act as an accelerant to your own natural scent. And I'm just, like I said, obsessed with how the original smells on me. It's a little bit musky, it's a little bit kind of woody, and it's kind of giving me that ISO Super E vibe that I really enjoy in a fragrance. It's really difficult to describe how it smells because as mentioned, it's kind of your skin, but better. So I feel like I don't wanna say too much about how it smells on me because it might smell completely different on you. But I've been really enjoying it for again, those days where I just wanna smell clean, I wanna smell fresh and I wanna smell put together. So the vibe again is very much cozy loungewear or a relaxed outfit, maybe a white shirt, white t-shirt or a clean, fresh hoodie vibe. It's one of those kind of cool girl or cool guy vibes types of fragrances, very similar to Lilabo's Another 13. So if that's your kind of jam, then I would highly recommend trying out the original scent. But I feel the best way to explore this brand would be by trying the Discovery set. The ones that stood out to me the most personally is the original scent, Santel and Muse. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on Santel and Muse too, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what types of scents they have. But fragrance oils are an interesting one. As I am someone who really does enjoy spraying their perfume, I just love the routine of it and it's very satisfying. I don't know what it is. But I have found when sampling these oils that they last a lot longer on my skin, but they're also perfect for layering to make your other fragrances last longer. So you can definitely mix and match these with other fragrances that you have in your collection. So the notes of Santel is described as a spicy woody fragrance oil, and it has cardamom, amber, sandalwood, orchid, and cassis, which I would agree with. I can definitely pick out the spicy woody notes within it. I can definitely pick out the cardamom, the amber, and the sandalwood mostly. And then Muse to me is a very beachy fragrance, maybe a holiday type of scent or a hot weather fragrance. And that is described as a sweet and floral fragrance. It has notes of coconut, peony, magnolia, bergamot, sandalwood, and amber. You definitely pick out that coconut note. It smells very tropical and very beachy. And I'm getting the kind of magnolia, the peony, and a little bit of that sandalwood too. But yeah, this brand I'm very excited by and I'm so grateful that I am able to try it. This was gifted to me by the brand with no obligation to even speak about it, but I felt the need to speak about it because I'm so obsessed with the original scent mostly. And I will definitely be buying the bigger size bottle of this because I know I'm gonna go through this little small tester bottle so quick. I'll just show you how small it is. And they do other coordinating products too, like body oils, body sprays. I think they do candles. But yeah, I just wanted to bring it to your attention because I don't think I've ever spoken about fragrance oils on my channel before. I'm not very well versed in fragrance oils, but this one definitely caught my attention. I love the brand aesthetic and I love the idea of having a pheromone oil. So that was it for all of the fragrances that I wanted to talk to you about today. Were there any that stood out to you and you wanna find out more about, please do let me know because I can do a more in-depth review of any of these fragrances that I've discussed. Or maybe you own some of these fragrances already. Please do let me know down in the comments your thoughts. I love chatting to everyone and hearing your individual feedback on fragrances. But what I most wanna know are what are your newest additions to your collection? It might just be one standout fragrance or multiple, but your recommendations always get me thinking. I'm always gonna research them and 
I often buy your recommendations. So please do let me know some of your newest additions to your personal collections. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support as always. If you wanna join me over on Instagram, I've popped my handle on the screen and I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel, of course, only if you enjoy my content. But I hope to see you all very soon in a video to come. Have a wonderful day. Thanks and goodbye.